Hi, I'm Andy Cook and I run a company called FFEI and uh, we've just released a new piece of cool software called RealView 3D and I'm going to give you a quick uh, demo of what it's all about. Uh, what I'm running here is a, I've got a Mac Pro uh, which is running uh, Windows Vista. Um, our software runs on a Mac or a PC. Um, RealView 3D software is um, some technology that's able to take um, PDFs and uh, turn them into a 3D simulation of uh, what it's going to look like um, when it gets to um, print. So here we go, I've got one up on the screen. Uh, this is a brochure and what I've got here is a, a brochure that's been converted via uh, RealView 3D into this simulation. So as you see you can flip the pages. Now um, page turning software really isn't anything new but this is something quite fundamentally different in that you can spin the uh, in this case a brochure around and see what it's actually going to look like um, once it's printed. Now there's various different controls that I can uh, show you in a moment um, including thickness of the paper, you can add varnish, you can get it to um, manage uh, double page spreads. Um, but the point is this software really is designed to allow um, people to present their concepts and see what that publication, the publication is going to look like before you commit to um, print. And also doing it in a virtual world like this um, means that it's a lot cheaper and easier rather than trying to inkjet and mock up your uh, publication. Right, so now let's go and have a look at a, um, a few different types of publications. Um, so for example, let's have a look at this book. I've actually got um, this, this book, it's a travel photography book, and uh, you can see that the, it's got various different beautiful photographs inside. And uh, what we've done is we've taken the PDF and we've run it through um, RealView. And uh, let me open it up here. Um, so here's the book. Can you imagine that um, if you want to check that everything is okay before you commit it to um, the printer or even to an inkjet, uh, RealView 3D is able to simulate it. There we go. We've got that nice hard back cover there. I'm going to spin it around and you can see we've got a spine there. Um, and let's flip through a few of the pages. There we go, there's the uh, front cover. Let's get to some nice um, uh, photographs. There we go, look at that, isn't that great? You can zoom in, uh, scroll around, uh, go and see how everything lays. Let's just put it at a nice angle so you can see the way, in, beautiful way in which the uh, pages uh, flip and turn. Isn't that a nice picture? Look at that little girl there. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at that. Um, and uh, there we go. So what we've got here is some software that is able to create uh, real-life simulations of uh, what those PDFs are going to look like uh, when it goes to print. Let's go and have a look at a, a couple of other um, sort of functions that we've got. Now, um, if you've ever um, designed a brochure or uh, tried to think about something that's got... Um, a varnish on here we go this is our corporate brochure um, now if you look at that there's some there's a, a varnish finish we've got the spot varnish at the top there and varnish over the logo and also inside here you'll see there's a word um, commitment excellence and uh, creativity and technology right so now let's see how real view 3d copes with that um, here's the brochure and you see there you see that uh, the, the lighting effect is able to simulate that um, spot varnish. Let's flip the page over, over, over here, and uh, there you go. You see the word technology, isn't that fantastic? Look at that creativity. And I'm going to flip the page here, and uh, you see. Uh, let's have a look at the back there. There you go. You see the uh, spot varnish. Now, uh, isn't that great? Um, trying to do that with um, an inkjet or any other sort of proofing mechanism is going to cost you money and time. Well, with uh, RealView 3D, uh, you cut all of that out, and uh, it's great. All right, so let's go back to this carousel. I'm going to um, bring up this uh, book again because I want to see, show you just a couple more little features that we've got um, in the uh, in the product. You see, along the bottom there, um, we've got the ability to uh, select a page uh, directly. So I'm going to uh, 
uh, it goes into the middle of the book and uh, isn't that great it just automatically flips to that page and there it is and uh, we can um, simulate and have a quick look uh, is everything okay and uh, what that book is going to look like um, as you saw a little bit earlier we've got this uh, great carousel effect which means that you can bring publications and designs together all into a single file and um, there we go that's that uh, scuba uh, scuba diver uh, brochure now a couple of other things to say about this uh, this file that you're looking at is actually a Java file so that means it will run on either a Mac or a PC um, on the Mac uh, Java comes as standard on a PC you need to um, install it but it's a free application from uh, java.com um, it's an encrypted file that means that uh, if you send this to somebody via email or over the internet it means that they can view it in this way they've got every control that you see um, but they're not able to pull it apart and um, republish or um, use any of the um, images from it so your, your document is quite safe it's also Google safe so um, means that um, you're not able to um, analyze uh, the words or um, search on those words so you, what you've got is a, a, a file here that represents and displays your uh, publication or your PDFs um, but is totally safe from um, anybody trying to do anything uh, perhaps you don't want them to do with it um, now also the size of the file is a really important point what we've done is created some quite clever technology which is able to render the um, PDFs and, and, and create quite a small um, file size so that means that you can email um, these uh, documents um, because they're just a, typically just a few megabytes alright so I'm going to shut that file down um, what I'm going to do now is show you our, is our, if you go to our website, you can see if you click on play, you actually brings up, um, here we go, I'm using Internet Explorer here, and there's the Real View brochure, there's a real thing here, but uh, you can go online to realview3d.com and uh, go and play with one of the uh, brochures there, and you can really get to understand what this application is all about. Right, so just to finish with, what I've got here, I'm going to give you a quick uh, demo of what this actually, um, how it actually works. Um, it's a plug-in to Acrobat Professional, so I've got it running here on this screen. Um, I've actually got three um, uh, publications open at the moment, so let me quickly talk you through um, the various dialog boxes. Um, first of all, we go on to the right-hand side here, it says document settings, and you've got the ability to change the thickness of the covers, the inside page. You can change the binding, so you can um, perhaps uh, bind it this way, or uh, this way, or this way, um, left, right, top and bottom. You can change the glossiness of, of the uh, stock, and the outside cover, and the inside pages. You've also got the ability, nice neat little feature here, um, to um, convert spreads. So if you've got a PDF with um, double, double page spread, uh, the software will actually pick that up and split the pages down um, to ensure that everything uh, flows correctly. Now the uh, one of the nice little features is, um, as I showed you, the spot varnish. So you can select your spot varnish, which is a spot colour, and um, add that in. So that's about it on the other side here preferences we can uh, change the light intensity temperature of the colors we can change the background of the viewer you can even drop in your own branding and uh, create a view in the background without the real view logo and perhaps even put a landscape um, to give some nice branding effects uh, behind the actual publication itself um, now what I wanted to show you as the final point is just show you how quick this is so the three publications I've just demoed, that's the book, that's this book, the corporate brochure and the scuba diver. I've got them all running here and I'm now going to um, click on export. I need to uh, give it a name. I'm going to give that name uh, testing. There we go. And I'm going to save it onto my desktop. There we go. I said OK and it's now creating the Java. So it's taking those files. Um, that book is about 650 megabytes. Uh, this brochure is 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 about um, 20 megabytes, and uh, it's doing a rendering. 
it's creating the viewer technology and it's going to put it all into an encrypted file which is going to drop onto my uh, desktop. Let's go and have a look at that. Here it is, just opening here, uh, full screen. And there's my book. That's the book and the pages, etc. Isn't that fantastic? Um, you can spin it around. It's uh, incredibly fast rendering technology, so you can look at it in any angle very quickly. I'll shut that down. Um, and I just want to show you, there it is, I'm going to show you how big that file is. There we go, it's just over 9 megabytes. So all of those publications from the PDF uh, rendered into that 3D file uh, creates just a 9 megabyte um, um, Java file. So, go and have a look. Um, it's realview3d.com and um, I really do hope you enjoy this uh, new technology. We think it's fantastic.